Hi, this is Chris Angelini. I'm the managing editor of Tom's Hardware, and today we're in our home theater setup to show you Intel's wireless display technology. What we've got on screen here is the standby menu for Netgear's push to TV adapter, which you can see right below the television there. It's very small, it's the receiving end of the technology that connects in via HDMI. And over to the right, we've got Dell Studio 15Z Notebook which is powered up and uh, wireless display enabled. So what I'm going to do is remotely start up the wireless display software, which will automatically search for and detect the Netgear adapter. You see it scale the display there. And over on the screen, it's establishing its connection, and the desktop will pop up here momentarily. Now, flash, that was the display going from its native 1366 by 768 resolution down to 1280 by 720 to match the EDID information data structure that the television presented. And we've got Windows Desktop now. The quality here is, is reasonable, it's not bad. There is some artifacting, you see if we zoom in close there, uh, a little blockiness, that's just your MPEG-2 compression. This is limited to about 10 megabits per second, but it's overall not too bad, so we'll zoom back out and fire up the fighter pilot HD clip from Microsoft's web showcase and uh, I'll let that play with audio to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Now overall that's pretty smooth playback. There are some, some artifacts, some compression artifacts that you do see. Uh, 30 frames per second though, not bad. In high bitrate content like this you will see the content uh, seize up a little bit every once in a while, but here playback is smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and close that down. Get out of full screen mode here. And just to show you a little bit of the latency that I've been talking about, I'll put both screens up so you can see me close this on the laptop. And it takes about half a second for the display, the television display, to register. So because of this latency, you're really not going to want to use wireless display for gaming or any usage environment where you're controlling the television via the, the notebook's touchpad or keyboard because it's just, it's just kind of a jarring experience. Really what this is meant for is turning on a clip, kicking back on the couch, and, and watching it on the television. Probably not going to replace an HTPC or anything, but if you're doing presentations or you're just watching the occasional television show on Hulu or something, this is fine. Uh, for a first generation technology, impressive. I'll be curious to see what we see later on, uh, if we can get the quality, and the, late, the quality up and the latency down. That's really what I want to see. So uh, thanks to, to Intel for sending this over and showing us what its wireless display technology is all about. Again, this is Chris Angelini for Tom's Hardware. Thanks for taking a look at this.